Welcome to the CA Test Data Manager Data Masking Tutorial video. This is part of the data masking process. For this video, we will assume that you have run the data discovery process to create a data model and that you have run a PII scan on that data model. Now that you have a scanned data model that contains tables with tagged columns, you can begin to assign masking rules to columns in your data. These rules consist of combinations of masking functions from Fast Data Masker, a component of CA Test Data Manager. TDM Portal uses Fast Data Masker's masking engine to mask columns. This masking engine applies a masking function to a column in your data model to replace the contents of that column with masked values. In this example, the masking function hash LOV takes a seed list as its only parameter. Masked values are taken from this seed list. In this case, UK male first names. A mask function group is a configuration of masking functions that TDM Portal executes sequentially on a column in your data source using FDM's masking engine. This configuration includes masking functions, the order in which to execute the masking functions, and it can contain default parameters for each masking function. TDM Portal associates mask function groups with columns in your data model based on the tags assigned by the PII scan. These tags are taken from the classifiers with which TDM Portal performs the PII scan. Note that columns with different default mask function groups can share a common tag. Let's go back to the data model heat map view. Here we can see that these green tables have no tags assigned to any of their columns. Yellow tables have between one and four distinct tags assigned to one or more of their columns. If a column has more than one tag from the PII scan, the tag from the classifier that best matches the contents of the column is the column's primary tag. If a column has only one tag, this is its primary tag by default. The column's primary tag defines the mass function group that is assigned to it. Let's add our own tag to a column in one of the tables that currently has no tags assigned. Click in the Tag Name field and type the name of the new tag you wish to add and hit Enter. You must also give a reason for adding your manual tag. We can close the table without confirming. Or we can confirm the table to mark that we have manually reviewed it. Let's confirm that we have reviewed this table and close. Notice that the table we confirmed has a tick on it and it is now yellow because it has one tag assigned. If we know that a table does not contain PII, for example, if some of the data is dummy data, we can mark it as not PII to exclude it from the masking process. It's necessary to give a reason for marking a table as not PII. Now let's set up the masking configuration. On this page, you can set a mask function group for each tag column. Columns can be viewed by table or by tag. For now, let's view them by table. Let's expand a table to view its tag columns. For each column, you can choose from the mass function groups associated with the column's primary tag. You can edit the selected mass function group by clicking the edit icon. And you can add a mass function group by clicking the add icon. First, let's look at editing the selected mass function group. You cannot make changes to mass function groups derived from classifiers. To make changes to a mass function group, you need to make a copy and edit. When you click the Make Copy and Edit button, the dialog changes to Create Masking Function Group. Here you can enter a name for your mass function group. You can change, add, and remove masking functions add values in the parameter fields, and add a WHERE clause to evaluate before the masking function is applied to values in the column. Click CREATE to create the mass function group. You can edit your custom mass function groups. When you are happy with all the column's mass function groups, click NEXT. On this screen, you can change settings that apply to all columns in your masking job. Fields that you leave blank remain at their default setting. 
When you are happy with your masking settings, click Next. Next, you can specify how much of your data to mask. You can choose to only mask data in tables that you manually confirmed and to exclude tables that you manually marked as not PII. You can choose to mask the environment you scanned or another environment that you created. Within the environment you choose, you can choose to mask the whole environment or only specific data sources. You can choose to run a mask in preview mode, which produces an audit file containing the mask values that would be applied. With this option checked, your data is not changed. To show pre-marked samples in the audit report adds the column's original values to the pre-mask sample column in the audit report that is created by a masking job. You can delete these at any time. When you are happy with the settings for your masking job, click Next. Now you can review the settings you chose for your masking job. You can download a configuration file which you can use to run the masking job directly in Fast Data Masker if you prefer. You can generate and download constraint scripts to run on your database before and after masking. You may need these if you have constraints in place on your database. When you are happy with your masking configuration, you can choose to either schedule the masking job for now or a later date. First, let's schedule a masking job for a future time. The job is added to the list of masking jobs. To cancel a pending job, click the stop icon. Let's schedule the job for now instead. Click Start Masking to go back to the page we were on. Click Next to get to the summary page. Let's leave Schedule at Now. And click Mask to start the masking job. The job is added to the list of masking jobs and starts immediately. If the job completes successfully, we can download an audit report. The audit report downloads. If we open this, we can see all the columns that were masked. Note that the column pre-masked samples is populated with the values that the masking job replaced. You have successfully masked tag columns in your data. Thank you for watching this series of tutorial videos. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble at the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can visit product documentation, support, communities, or see the learning paths.